Hello friends, today I'm going to solve with code problem number 45, jump game, double I. In this problem, we are given an integer array nums, it's of length n, and our starting position is at index 0, and we need to reach the last index, that is n minus 1 index in the array. And we are going to make that using a minimum number of jumps. So how do we make our jump? Well, basically, um, each value uh, at index i in the nums array represents the maximum length of the forward jump that we could make from index i. So now that would mean that we have we are at index i and the value of nums i me is the maximum length that we could jump right which means that we could jump to a maximum of nums i plus the value j where j would be equals to nums i now let's just look at this example and i will explain to you more about what the problem entails and how we could solve this problem so we are given this array starting at index zero okay All right, so we are starting at index zero. This is one, two, three, and four. So the length is a total of five, and the last index is four. So we need to reach this index starting from this index. So how could we reach that index? Well, basically we know that the value at this index means that we can make a jump of maximum length of two. So what's the length to? It's one, two, right? So we could make a jump up, up to this index, right? But we could also make a jump of one. So that means we would reach this point. Okay, so what if we make a jump of one and we make a jump of two both in the next stage so we actually made one jump but we are not sure which but we make a jump either to this one or to this one now from that next point next starting point this becomes our starting point um so from this starting point what's the maximum jump that we could make well that is um one plus the value at this index which is equals to four so we could make a jump to uh, index four so that would be this jump the length of this jump okay let me use another pencil here so that would be this one so we reach our last index but let's just keep iterating just for the sake of that you understand this problem so we reached our index four all right now um, we move to the next index next value that was our previous maximum jump because we either make jump to this point or to this point and from both of these points what's the maximum jump that we could make so from this point we make a jump of maximum of one so we just reach this point here so between these two uh, the maximum jump was this right so what would we do is we would choose um, this point this as our maximum jump array a maximum jump value and um, our next starting point would be since we have found we found the jump from this we jumped from this one right now we are going to start uh, our jump from this point so we are going to jump So we are going to make a jump from this index and let's suppose that we have one more index here uh, index 5 and okay let me just clean this thing oh no let me just use another pen so we start from this one and so far we have made two jumps right with the rate we made plus one jump now uh, we start from this point and we make a jump of one and we still reach this value here and at this point index um, we reach this value 
and that is still the same as the previous maximum jump right it didn't change our maximum jump at all so we are not going to make an addition of plus one here because it did change our maximum jump um, since if you would just look at this problem so um, to reach here we start from this point we we reach this point from this point right and we reach this point from here so that would be a total of one two three jumps right but when we uh, when we look at this jump made from this index we can reach this from this index as well right so we made a jump of one and then we made a jump another jump so that is only two right so that's why if we encounter the same maximum value we are not going to change our maximum we are not going to update our jumps so so far it's only two and then from this point we can make a maximum of uh, four jumps right but we only need to reach the in this index which is at index 5 so if you make a maximum of 4 jumps then 4 plus 4 would be 8 and 8 is greater than the value at this index so since that's greater since that is greater so we know that we found our result and uh, by making a jump of plus 1 so that would be equals to 3 and we'll return our answer so now that we know how to solve this problem let's start coding so let me just revise once more clear things up and revise all right so what are we going to do is we are going to start from index zero so we start from index zero we find the maximum jump from here so this will be a maximum jump um, and this will be our left and this will be our right bound the maximum jump and then in the next step our left becomes equals to this and then we find our maximum jump and our maximum jump is now equals to this one but still our right is not changed so we move to the next step so far our jump is equals to one and then here the maximum jump is uh, to this point right but still our maximum is here we our maximum doesn't change so now our left and right are at both in both at the same index so what we do is um, we make increase a jump by one and then we change our left and right index so now our left index is this one and our right index is the maximum jump that we made and then we keep on iterating but you could just break it once we have found our maximum jump that is at the last index so now let's start coding so what are we going to need is to store our value we need a jumps jumps um, integer jumps variable we need to store the left bound left and the right index so initially we are starting at index zero so that would both of them will be the same and now let's uh, we are going to loop as long as our right index is less than the index and minus one right you remember the index five at index five if we made if we had one more index if we made a jump of loop plus four that would lead us to eight which means that maximum jump was eight right but we could still make a jump of one and reach our final so if the right is greater than and the length of the nums array then we are going to return so let n equals to nums to length so right must be less than n minus one okay And we are going to define our max value as equals to zero, starting from index i equals to zero, i is less than the value at right, so less than equals to because we can make up to that many jumps, and then i plus plus, uh, we find our max value 
max comma i plus the value at index i so this is the maximum jump that we could make and then we are going to update our left right and max uh jumps variable so now left would be equals to right plus one right is equals to the max and we made a jump so we are going to increment our jumps by one and then finally return jumps that we made now let's run our code let's submit it Great. So the time complexity for this solution would be um, O of N because we are only iterating over um, each of the index by once, right? And incrementing the count by one. And our space complexity is constant. So, yep. 